like to call to order the meeting of the Northampton Disability Commission. This meeting is being recorded and videotaped. Um, I would uh, like to welcome everyone here and welcome our guests. Uh, I want to introduce Melissa Marshall. Uh, I I'd like to talk a little more about that as we're talking about our update on the Municipal ADA Improvement Grant application. And we have another guest. So we have a lot to talk about. So should we just get right to the agenda? Yeah. All right. The update on the Municipal ADA Improvement Grant application. Uh, we have been awarded. Can we begin with any comment from the, the public and attendance? I think that's traditional. Yes, public comment is first. But I tried, okay. I will be quick. I have heard that the budget for the PBTA has been slashed. I believe it will affect many people in Salvo House. I would like to get more information. I believe it will downgrade those of us who are mobility challenged to shut in. That's all I have to say. Thank you very much. Thank you. And I would say we would certainly want to look into that question of, uh, of cuts in the uh, transportation budget. That would be a terrible impact. I also would like to make a suggestion if we could check with the uh, mayor's schedule and invite him to our meeting. He is the chair of um, PBTA. And he had an article in the paper about the budget cuts, which is very detrimental. And maybe he could come in and speak about what's what I did hear was what's and the cut? pardon the interruption. What I did hear was the express groups will be the first to go. Others will remain. Thank you for that update. I I, I would. Um, move that the, the commission make a, a formal statement that we are extremely concerned at any cuts in transportation services um, which restrict the opportunities of citizens with disabilities to participate in the, in the community and that we will be in, involved actively in um, both seeking information and attempting to redress that. Want to second that motion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? So moved. Could we do a roll call vote on that, please? Uh, do the ayes supposed to? Yes, but I'm on a roll call vote. So right. it's fair that we are making that recommendation. That's important. All right. So we will do a roll call vote on the motion that we just <coughs> from the last. So we would say Chris, Chris Palamas, aye. Ed Coyle, aye. Aye. Get down for it. I'm not on the commission. Ruth. Ruth McGrath, aye. Leticia, aye. Councilor LaBarge, aye. Judy Kimberly, aye. That way it's on full record. So, should we move to the update on the municipal ADA improvement grant application? Yes. Um, Chris, would you like to do the update? I think first we have to do approval of the minutes. Oh. Um. Oh, you're oh. right. We have to do approval of the minutes. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. I know. I make a motion to approve the minutes of May 16th. Second so, it. Wait, wait, we had a. Um, oh, I noticed under new business, um, it should be um, reserved for topics of that. That was misspelled. It should be T H A T. T H A T. 
correct. A typo. On page two under new business, there's a typo. Mm -hmm. Under new business? Yeah. It says on mine. It's a, for topics that. that. It's a oh, yes. mm -hmm. Thank you, Pamela. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, let's call that motion. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? The minutes are accepted. With the correct, the typo corrected. Now we move to the update. Municipality, ADA, uh, include the board. Since we met last, um, we very quickly were able to um, uh, draft a, a grant working with uh, um, Wayne, how does Wayne pronounce his name? Wayne Fighter. I keep throwing R's in there. I know it's wrong, but my tongue wants to do it. Uh, Wayne Fighter, now the, the Planning and Sustainability Office um, in town, we, um, we drafted a grant. It was really very brief for the Mass Office on Disability. Uh, we've been informed that we have the funding to, uh, to proceed, but we were surprised to learn that that part that we're receiving from MOD, the dollars have to be expended by and invoiced by um, June 30th. This is the first time Office on Disability has administered a grant program. This is rather unprecedented speed at which we're doing it. So, we have several things in, in, in motion. We have secured uh, the availability of two consultants to work with us, um, who were very quickly available. Melissa Marshall, who is here today, will generally focus in policy and procedure areas, including um, employment, effective communications and general under the law it's called the general prohibitions against discrimination the general operating procedures Jacqueline Bergen um, will be doing some surveying in targeted areas that we specify the particular places where we have reason to believe that is of buildings and facilities owned or controlled by the city where um, there is need to gather some data about existing barriers. So we have already, um, we opportunistically had a chance to meet yesterday um, in, in Wayne's office. It just happened that everybody was available. Um, to um, to begin the begin the process, and we set out a number of preliminary uh, targets for the surveying work. We also identified a number of prospective um, meetings for um, for Melissa to under undertake, and um, among them, I believe, are the human resources director, um, the chief of police. Um, public health and I think a fourth and certainly in those circumstances particularly for the meeting of the chief of police because Jean Page came to the commission initially his specific concern was that intersection between police work psychiatric disability recovery from addiction um, that we are very much hoping that uh, Jean Page um, is going to be um, available to participate in, uh, um, in, in that discussion. Much of this is setting the table. We're going to have, you know, less than two weeks of kind of a breathless flurry, but then we get to slow down because we allocated some matching funds and we get to slow down at that point in the process. Wayne has um, secured a work study person who would be focusing in some of the open spaces, parks and rec. It will, Wayne will clarify for us exactly his scope. And we said among the things that we will do is we will do some direct training of that person who will be 
continuing through uh, more of the summer working with Wayne's office. And one of the goals is pull together the general self-evaluation transition plan with the specific subparts that had, had been done and now need to be reviewed in terms of open space and recreation. He's a great guy, and thank oh, you so much, yes. Marianne. You pointed us right to um, you know, a very strong and, and willing person. His general comment was, gee, I saw a flurry of attention to disability immediately after ADA uh, was passed in 1990, but then after a couple of years and our initial projects, um, he seemed to be really aware that um, it had uh, essentially faded from awareness and from active work moving forward. So that's what we're, um, what we're moving forward on. We couldn't ask for a better department and somebody as brilliant as we find it. That's a terrific way. Would anyone else fill in any of those pieces and we would take a few minutes and introduce Melissa? And I don't believe that the work study um, person will also look at walkways, sidewalks, just in the area because it, it's about people getting out and around. Yes. And he had mentioned specifically some of that work that's been going forward on walkways and that is on our, our agenda for later in the meeting. Um, it, this is a lot to do in a, short, in a short period of time clearly, but it's not going to end based on MOD's deadline. We were going to do this on a voluntary basis. We will continue um, to work at it and also using the, the matching funds for this time. Another question I have, which was brought up a couple of years ago, which is in Ward 6 on Florence Road, we had a resident in a wheelchair, in a rice wheelchair, who came from a standard coming down Florence Road and going to visit his mother at Florence Heights. So I had gone to our ADA coordinator, her and I went on site and I said, gotta have signage or something here. You know, I mean, he was going through, at that point, we didn't have the full blown light because of the reconstruction of Route 66 and I moved it from phase three to phase one. And it is so dangerous there is no signage, absolutely nothing for real accessible. And you know what it's like during the evenings. I mean, it's dark out there. And there, there are no sidewalks. Cut, no, none of ours. We have no sidewalks on our road and our ward except for new houses in development. That's mandatory. They have to put them in. So something needs to be looked at that also. We need to upgrade of the visibility of letting drivers know that we do have people in wheelchairs that access the road. And he did, somebody did at the intersection hit the back of his wheelchair. Thank God he did not get hurt. We actually have another visitor today who... Uh, <laughs> Hi, um, my name is Emma. I was here a few months ago, um, but um, I actually um, wanted to, um, at some point, bring forward the fact that I was hit by a car in Northampton about on May twenty first. Um, oh yeah. And um, thankfully, I. Um, was more or less not bodily injured, um, but I do have to get my wheelchair replaced. Um, it got pretty banged up. Um, but I had wanted to bring forward at some point um, discussing um, part of the reason that happened is because I was in the road and not on the sidewalk because I was avoiding some crack in the pavement. Um, that my chair has trouble navigating. Um, so I wanted to discuss, um, I guess, the situation of 
the uh, poor pavement in North or poor sidewalks in mm -hmm. Northampton. Is that the one on Holly Street? Yes, that's on Holly Street, yeah. Okay. Um, should, should we get back we'll, to see we'll if this will return to that? But are, that any more discussion that. about the, uh, the, the grant that we have received? Yeah. Ms. Jean Page has just joined us. Hello, Jean. <laughs> We have to say we mentioned your name. This is Melissa Marshall is sitting next to you, and we specifically she has scheduled some meetings under the ADA grant. And and as as we spoke, we're hoping that the two of you can can do um, the meeting at, at least with the, the chief of police together, and possibly some of the others. Um. What's that? Our ministry does not like, there's a busy crosswalk that there's no light on the I don't think we want to right now go through wow. any place that there's exactly. a problem because that's why we're doing a survey right. so that we can update our self evaluation and transition plan. Right now they're doing an update on the survey. And we also want to get broader public testimony. Yeah. And it is it would be good to get something immediately into press and other avenues that this process is going to go forward through the summer and on beyond that and we want to get the, these kind of concerns um, voiced because amongst other things we need many more than uh, are represented on the Commission to have some agreement when we get to the point of having to prioritize of all the many things that can be done and should be done, um, the number of citizens who are affected by it, um, what would we put as, um, as priorities? We may have an opportunity to make a second capital, small capital request from Office on Disability. Okay. Great. There is a little, there's a typo on here, our next agenda item in the um, update on our recommendation to install not a miter but a mirror on the roadway. For the Thank day. you. <laughs> yeah, I've been wondering what is that one? <laughs> I thought it was a mirror. Mirror. Oh. So I don't, um, yeah, yeah, so do we have oh, a um, at this point I don't. Um, I did uh, two days ago um, ask again um, for an update from um, the DBW. I have not uh, they have not returned my call yet. Um, so let me I'll keep doing it until we I, I don't know what the protocol is there. I mean we did send a, a letter um, you know it's everything was discussed. We followed all the, the required protocol and I haven't heard back yet. I also want to give an update. Um, I did see Richard, him and I had a monthly talk, and I emailed Richard Pasoletti and also Donna Lascalia asking them, we would like to know, and especially as a city councilor on my ward, wanting to know if that mirror is going to be installed or not. I haven't heard anything in two months. I've come here. Uh, Mary Ann, point of information, can this commission request to meet with the city council um, and or mayor and please tell us what the proper process should be? I took this to be essentially, while it wasn't stated in that way, a grievance under the ADA. It was a request for and we recommended as a reasonable modification policy and procedure under the ADA. This kind of delay is precisely the sort of thing that has to end. We're not getting any response. So could you point which? Um, I think it would be that we need to have a meeting with the mayor. 
you would suggest meeting with the mayor is to do it. Yeah, this is frankly intolerable. I would say with the mayor and Richard Pasoletti in his office or at the Department of Public Works. Then I would like to formally move that this commission apologize to the citizen who appeared before us and tell him that we are taking steps to meet with the mayor to seek to expedite this, but also to establish new policy in the city so that this will not happen again. Second. Thank you. Not second that one. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? So when was the last time Richard Pasoletti came here and you had mentioned we'd send a letter I think it was November. Right. Yeah, the point of information, this has gone on for more than a year. Yes. And I just emailed two, two months ago. All right, so I'll write the letter. Okay. Thank you. And we'll write the letter. <coughs> and thank you, Chris. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Uh, we would, so we talk a little bit more about the accident caused by the deteriorating walkways on Holly Street. Yes. yes. Uh, I, um, sure. Um, what? Do you want to know? <laughs> have, have, have you uh, put in any complaints, talked to anybody in the city about that? Um, most of my dealings um, since the accident have been um, with uh, it, medical concerns and um, dealing with insurance, getting my chair replaced. I did contact the Gazette um, to see if they would be willing to write a piece um, to gain some media attention around um, the situation with the sidewalks in Northampton. Um, they have been like mildly responsive, but not um, well. as enthusiastic as one would hope. Um, I could help you with that. I could. I know I can talk to some people if you want. Okay. Yeah. Who, excuse me. Who did you talk to from the Gazette? Uh, um. Anyways, can I make a suggestion yes. for you? Call Amanda Drake. Amanda Drake. D R A N E. She's excellent. Excellent reporter. Okay. Um, or if not, just go right down the Gazette and they ask her, you know, first of all, find out if she's on duty and what time she's coming on. And I would go see her. She's excellent. Okay. And I, I wonder if we could use that as an example to link to this bigger process that we're saying that specific. We have had, you were injured, your chair was injured. You reported it. This is mul multiple incidents. It's all part of why we have to redo this this broad planning for the ADA. We'll also mention that that Bill Newman um, and on his radio show um, actually, when when we appeared on it, had said something about, well, you all got your curb cuts, if I I remember, you know, and sort of what's needed and. The response was something you get things they also have to be maintained his personal response was is there any organizing around this in the community i think we can now say to him yes this is a particular um, um, example but it's the real lead for what what is now something that has to be a community-wide effort and we need more people to say the condition of the pedestrian ways in Northampton How is, is dangerous. Exactly. How right. about in Florence? Can we, are you going to mention me? Because I know when I got hit by a car, but you guys yeah. didn't do anything before, though. Well, Florence is part of Northampton, so we're going to talk about the, all the conditions of pathways. I think what we're saying is also we're open to volunteer participation. And, and yeah. 
and making sure that the that the public and the, and the press is, is really aware. We can do a, a little grant and have a report and we'll get something done out of, out of it. If we have public awareness and if, if we have involved citizens and we come to Salvo House 2 at a point in the process and speak to more, more people there, the more folks we have involved and lit up by these concerns from the pedestrian ways, um, transportation, all of these concerns. I Some, think that's, sometimes, that's sometimes what we're trying Chris, to do. Sometimes, Chris, we can have a press conference. Yes. 22 will show up, and 40 won't show up, and you expect one group to show up, and another one shows up. So if you have a press conference, you, you, can, you can have a chance to hit, hit almost anybody. Right. I think that's an yeah. excellent idea. Invite whoever, you know, we could get Amanda Drake to come here and have an open session with the reporters. Why not? Why not? And I, I, agree with, I, I agree with that, too. Mm -hmm. I think it's a wonderful idea. Maybe invite Bill Newman, too. We could do that. We could change our hours in our meeting Absolutely. and have an open session and invite the public, too. You know, I think we need to really show our visibility and show our transparency. Here, this is who we are. I we need to you that. to come and voice. Yep. And I can mention my story too, man. Oh, sure. We, the other thing is to think about the potential for a theatric event. How do we, how do we illustrate this? It, it's been traditional. The simulation of just putting people into into chairs is is not not a is not a, a good one. But you know, we, yeah. sometimes we have to bring attention to the public. One of the things that we learned that was striking in our meeting yesterday, we were concerned about the Vogue Tech School because it's used for a lot of um, it's lot used for a lot of public events and public activities, and we know conditions in that particular building to be non-compliant. Uh, it was helpful to learn yesterday that it's an emergency shelter. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and one of the areas that Melissa brought up in amplifying our discussion yesterday, that transition plan does also go to emergency planning. Self-valuation as well. Oh, um, where is the location of the emergency shelter? It's actually the vocational technical high school is, is one. There may be several, but um, it's it's like right now we're taking in a lot of a lot of information. We're learning as and as we talk to the different departments and then Melissa will be the, the point on some of these discussions to to gather some additional information that we will will all be digesting. I don't know, if, is that the one uh, emergency shelter in the city? The, uh, uh, there's one on Center Street beside the police department, mm -hmm. the Cot Interfaith Shelter. The, I don't have my ear needs. <laughs> yes, the, the uh, Cot Interfaith sh Shelter is uh -huh. right beside the police station. Right, thank you. As Chris said, I'll be meeting with uh, Deputy the Deputy uh, Police Chief on Thursday because he he heads up, as does someone from Public Health. I'll be meeting with Meredith Alviri and um, John Devine, Devine and Devine, I want to say, and I'll be meeting with them as well as the Police Chief before that. So I have four meetings on Thursday. Mm -hmm. So you um, have meetings at the with police. And yes. I have meetings if you're interested. I just the emergency manager, though, I believe we were told is the deputy fire chief. The fire chief. It's the deputy fire chief that I'm meeting with. Yes. Okay. Yes, I'm meeting with the deputy fire chief, yes. Great. Thank you. At the fire station, okay. which clarifies for me. We're all going to know a lot more. And that's one of the things to take in this information. It also becomes part of that argument about potentially expanding also, the membership of the commission. Chris, also the mayor is involved in that emergency conference. They have it at the fire station. It's in the conference room and they have meetings periodically with health, city councilors. 
I mean, your police department, um, dispatch, everybody's involved in that. So I'm going to be doing the preliminary meeting to find out what they've, how they've addressed issues, access issues for people with disabilities, including communication access and other things, if they've addressed it yet. And if not, talk about in, in the report that I'll come up with a, a draft report. It'll be a very preliminary draft report because it's due next Friday at noon. <laughs> not at 4 o'clock, but at noon. So I'll come up with something very, very preliminary in terms of the bullet points, but to let you know what's there, what's not there for my business. And again, it's not going to be a draft report. It's going to be, no, it's going to be. We're going to have the, the points. This commission notes. will synthesize yes. and produce yes. the notes. report. It has to be a much more ongoing Absolutely. process. Yes. Absolutely. No, I, just preliminary writings is what I meant to say. Not, not a deadline on a report at this point. And Emma, you may not have heard, but there's an, another consultant, Jacqueline Bergen, who's doing some of the survey. And also Wayne has a, a, a work study person will be um, continuing to work during the, the summer and we will do some training of that person in, in terms of some of their surveying skills. Wayne will clarify for us what, what he wants as, as training and if others want to learn some of that, what we look at, how we measure, how we record, so we're on the same page on that, oh, that is open to it will be open, I would hope, to some broader participation. Okay, and my love, tell me to hush up. <laughs> I'm a little wrapped yeah, on, have, on many things can, today. Yeah, so. all the discussion as we want to. <laughs> That's great. Shall we move on to any new business? Yes. I have three different things. There have been two articles in the Gazette that were interesting. Unfortunately, I forgot one tonight. Um, one is about Thorns Marketplace and all the uh, accessibility options. They've changed, increased, added, improved at Thorns. Second one came out yesterday. It's about new trails that are open behind College Church. It features 800 feet of wheelchair and stroller accessible paths and so on and so on. I remembered that one. Both of these will go up on the bulletin board out there, but if anybody wants to look at them, at this one anyway, it's here. Actually, I wanted to ask for those of you who preceded me and was before I was on the commission, um, the Thorns Market um, did a waiver through the MAAD, mm -hmm. is my understanding, and that was granted. And that must have been some, some, some time ago. I get it. Yeah. Is there any recollection of that? Before I just assumed in, the timing predated. In the past, I can't remember us ever seeing anything from the AV until recently. Um, the last thing I have is the website. One thing, the whole website is terribly out of date. Um, but the one thing that really caught my eye in the bottom of the minutes, I put the website where the minutes are supposed to be posted online. They haven't been posted since January of 2016. Didn't you just bring that up in our last meeting about the website? Um, I brought up that it was out of date, but I didn't realize this part. So I'm going to take it off the minutes unless somebody wants to. Um, I, I would love to hear some suggestions of what we can do on the website. Yes. Um, I, have, I have no staff to do it. So, um, you know, I, I used I, to do it. If, if you can get the mayor to approve me doing it again. Oh, that's right. It has to be a city employee. Is that yeah. correct? Okay. It's I so guess it was so many years ago. Yeah, that, that's exactly right. Um, this actually yeah. it raises another issue that's under the self evaluation. Um, I think there's a, that recognition the work that needs to be done exceeds the resources committed to it. So the city either really looking at what it's going to take to make the job of the ADA coordinator uh, doable, whether that be the allocation of an additional part-time position or potentially restructuring is amongst the issues we're looking at. So minutes have to be posted by a public employee. Yeah, which that's oh, no yeah. problem. That's handled. Yeah. We're okay with that. It's yeah, getting minutes are. 
but the reason we were doing the really abbreviated minutes is because anybody could go to the website and see the full meeting if they had any questions or wanted any information. I used to do six page minutes for this and now we're down to hopefully just two um, because we had the recordings. But now the recordings aren't out there, so. Good. Had some interesting bit of history. Um, I have a meeting with the mayor tomorrow, so let me, I did approach him in my last meeting and um, I'll be a little bit more um, aggressive because um, we really do, I need some type of support um, to get the website updated. And one of the things that I'll be taking just a cursory look at right. as I look at self-evaluation is the accessibility of the website. Awesome. Okay. All right. Uh, well, done. Right. Well, in terms of the you content know. that's not there, in terms of the contents that's not there, and some glaring things that are missing. Yeah. Right. You know the director of NIS is a sweetheart. Yeah. Right. He would get somebody over here to set you up on the website. He's done it for many people. Once we get that set up, it should be anything that we added to it. We could add on to that or whatever. Mm -hmm. That's the problem, is that we can't because of the... That's right. Yeah. But I think with Patty, she would have to land do it at that time. Just adding things onto it and so forth. Right. Well, we do have um, a social media person, but she also is our activity director. And from a, from a realistic perspective, I truly cannot ask her to do anything else. She can't. She wait, works way beyond her time. I think this just it goes to underscore that the ADA coordinator cannot be tacked on to a full-time job and well, still knew that. accomplish mm -hmm. what. That's so, why Patty had yeah. a difficult time yeah, trying so, to run the senior center and be an ADA coordinator. That's right. That's a lot of work. And I did mention to Linda. I said, you know, we do get our fees from people parking and handicapped parking. And Linda does have that meeting with the mayor tomorrow. I'm supporting this move 100% that we look at hiring an ADA quarter. It has to be somebody in the city, in the municipality. Either whichever which way Linda feels, part-time or whatever. And use that money to pay that person. If it's another department, like in planning and Wayne's department or whatever, we take that money, use that money if we can. That I have to, we have to find out from Susan. Yeah, and we will formulate this as part of the self Exactly. Formally, with formal you know, recommendations on this is what's the amount of income and that, and potentially other resources that might have to be committed. <coughs> what we have to make very, very clear is the ways in which the job, and currently not just coordination, but ADA compliance in the city has to be elevated. Exactly. That's just impossible. She's running a huge business here, and having all this kind of responsibility is unfair. So I don't want her to get too tired and stuff. But by all means, give the mayor a preview tomorrow when you're in this <laughs> Yeah. I think we should all go with you and support you on this. But one thing is she has my full support 100% as a counselor. I've seen it for many years in here. And the, the, it's a struggle to run it and be an ADA coordinator. The, and the analogy they, was the, the state under the Patrick administration when ADA compliance had completely lapsed and as it was revived, one of the things at the department and secretariat level said there, there was no very clear job description for an ADA coordinator. Exactly. What exactly are you expected to do? And then time had to be free. Positions either became dedicated specifically as an ADA coordinator for department or secretariat, or um, a substantial proportion of the position where the time was entirely designated, and, and that was that was evaluated within the amount of time expected to be dedicated. I mean, even our former um, Pat Chomsky, I mean, when she retired, she said it was very, very difficult. And she agrees with me that we 
we need to look at somebody else and let when we move on and run this business. And she's doing an excellent job. And she wants to move out of the box. And she's not going to be able to get out of the box if she's going to have all this on her hands. I don't want her to pass out. <laughs> one, one dog. We, one. we did discuss in the meantime. I'm just saying that. Wayne is hiring of a work study there with planning and sustainability and we'll work out those linkages. But what about your um, hiring temporarily through the summer? We had talked about potentially using some of the funds we're using as as, as matching. Like I thought that was a what discussion funds? discussion at the last what about the grant you mean? Yeah. Oh, okay. We, we said we we're using up to 5,000 matching the state effort, and this is potentially a part of it. We ought to coordinate to make it clear to Wayne any steps we're considering we're doing, but um, does that make sense? Does it makes sense to me. Yeah. I, I mean, um, from my perspective, as a new kid on the block, literally, um, uh, you know, I, I feel. Sure, I could, I can actually, you know, cross the T's and be the administrator of this organization, but this position needs more than an administrator. Yeah. This, uh, this position needs oh, yes. someone who actually has a background in the rules and regulations, and the, it, it's a very, very, um, uh, it would take me, um, you know, a couple years of school to be uh, to understand the, the rules and regulations uh, regarding compliance and and all the other um, I mean all of you are experts but it's taken you a long time to get expert. there <laughs> I'm not an expert either no and so I I would think that you would really want someone to be be as thoroughly knowledgeable in this um, in in the requirements as possible and yes, that's even, not even when you, if I may, even if when you hire someone temporarily, someone mentioned a high school student. I didn't hear no. who said it. You want no. someone with expertise. You don't want an intern. Exactly what Linda was saying. You want someone who's done it already, knows what they're doing. Exactly. And I think our longer term is to evaluate the position and come up with the recommendations around restructuring. I but agree. short term, okay. is there a step that can okay. relieve some of the immediate pressure over these? next couple of months while we're moving forward should we be using some of those funds to would that be something that relieves some of the some of the pressure if you assuming you would interview and find someone who you felt had the, the skills to provide sure. that yeah. we can all do, help do with we any need a, a motion on that I'm i second it those in favor. I think we have to make a motion. We have to make the motion first. The motion I to slowly. To somebody, a formula motion. I did. I say, um, good, good afternoon. The time is 4.45 p.m. and the fitness center is now closed. The senior center will be closing at its regular time of 5 o'clock. Can we second that? <laughs> what a wonderful point. That was, uh, uh, the, that was the, a motion. The motion is that the, the, the commission um, approves the ADA coordinators use of the funds committed to that BMOD grant for the specific purpose of hiring a part-time person to support the ADA um, update effort through the summer. I second it. Thank you. Do you have a refinement there? We're going to use our, our matching, our matching for what now? To support the ADA coordinator will for a part-time part -time um, coordinator, or summer in summer coordinator, just just for the summer, I think. We should temporarily. What would happen here? Oh, no, 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 I'm still here. This would be someone to work on the website. Oh, that, someone you know, to work and do these things. Ah, that I can yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm yes. Yes. I second that. All in favor? All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? So moved. 
I have a new business I have signed to ask how we're going to do a, pot, a potluck this year because I know we used to do one at at end of June. Well, maybe in the fall. Yeah, maybe in the fall. In the fall, because yeah. I mean, everybody goes on vacation during the summer. Uh, we, have, we have talked about changing the time of our meeting. Yes. Um, to make it. To make it work better for if we went back to five o'clock, would that Ooh. work for everyone? Much better for me. That might be also attorney Winston. That's better. Yeah, I mean, when I when I first started, it was always five, and then there was a movement to make it four. I mean, I don't know if people want to compromise at four thirty or what works. I would say four thirty. Five seems kind of hard because, like, kind of like a like a band pop, like a band pop with that there sort of thing. So. Are you saying 4.30 is better than 4? Well, yeah, I mean, the later is better, right. I mean, So if yeah. we did it, let's get a time. If we did it at 5, that's better. Well, I mean, for me personally, but we have to work with what's best for the whole group as a whole. So for me personally, the later, just because I'm using quarter meetings and racing out over here at the end, but it's got to work for everybody. I can say for me, five is better. My husband just got a full-time job. I have to drive Bill to Amherst in, for four o'clock. He went in an hour early today, so I could get here. I was here for the day. Also, he had his hours changed, and that's why there's a difference. Right, when he went to full-time. Right. Yeah. right. So for so most of us, five o'clock would, would work? Well, I'll make a motion that we change our hours to five, five to six. Do, uh, can I entertain Let's have a little, little, little more, more discussion, discussion, though, and be sure we've got... Yeah. Everyone there. And, uh, for two people, five is a significant benefit. Jean? Five. For five. Five is also. better for you. For I say four thirty. I say five. What about you, Chris? Gay is five. She's with me. <laughs> Five works better. And I was was racing to try to finish up work. It's part of the reason I'm hyperventilating. <laughs> yeah. 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 Is five okay? It really is. Yeah, five. Five, oh, five, okay. five just works better. Okay. Okay. okay, so let's make a motion on that. On the definite time, five o'clock. So move, five o'clock. We change the time to five o'clock. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? When will that take effect? Will Leticia this take effect at our next meeting? I think, please give Leticia, you, you don't take favor by She She said I. Did you? Yes. Okay. Yes, she did. Okay. When, when so, is our, thank you. At July. our July meeting? Yeah. So that would be July 11th. So July 18th? July 18th, right? Yeah. But well, don't worry about it. Oh, it's the 18th. It's the 18th. It's the 18th. Oh yeah. Wait, wait, have it on the second week. <laughs> July 18th. I, I usually have like a band at 6, so that might be kind of hard though. I could see, it's like, is it probably like through here to, to eat or something like that? Is there any other new business? No. Shall we? Going to be an active to summer. Yeah. 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 Move to adjourn. Yeah. Second. Second. Meeting is now adjourned. Bye. Now turn on.